All right, gonna try this again. For those of you who stuck around to watch our little screw up a minute ago, um, Eric and I are here at Bay Arts for Jill Yannick's, Jill Yannick Eisert's show, Mindlessness, which is absolutely fabulous. So I'm gonna do a little pop-up living figuratively because I haven't seen you for a long, long time, but we're gonna do it right now. And I have to talk extra loud because they're playing country music in the background and I can't figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna take you a little walk through to this uh, amazing show called Mindlessness. Yay, okay, so we got the flip going right. All right, so Jill Eisert. Oh, now it's like backwards here. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Thank God I have my little tech tech support here. Okay, so mindlessness, Jill is basically, she's merging the two concepts. One is the mindfulness that everybody always says nowadays, oh, you got to be mindful, mindful and stuff like that. And um, the Buddhism and the Hinduism and um, things like that, uh, you know, on one side of it. And then the other concept is the absurdism of the absurd juxtapositions of things and how life is just cuckoo crazy uh, right now and, and all the time. Um, this piece right here, Bathing Beauties, is one of my favorites. I showed it to you first uh, maybe over a year ago at the Valley Art Center show. Um, but uh, I'm going to show it to you again because it's here. These two are sold, which is super wonderful and understandable because look how cool. She does these little juxtapositions, these absurd juxtapositions where she's got a little guy with a duck, the duck floaty, and then the duck with a guy floaty. And I love how she's made the duck hairy. And these are beautiful, beautiful little pencil drawings. She's got like this lovely roof that she's built with roof shingles on each one of these, and they are so super reasonably priced. I think she should really raise her prices, but get, get them right now while you can. And so here is another, it's called Last Pool Party. It's also a little bit of an absurdist bunch of people floating around in the pool. This is sort of the blue mate to the uh, Bathing Beauties one. And she does these cut out paper. Here's beautiful Bay Arts. We're gonna scan across the wall into the cold Cleveland. Now we're back here in the warmth. She does these cut paper. This one's got a little watercolor in it too, um, of these little scenarios with these little people, just tons of figurative, figurative, figurative. This, this one's really fun right here. It's called Burst. And here's another one that's sold, like a little bit like hotcakes. Um, if you wanted to come and check these out and buy one, you've only got till February 5th because that's when the show closes. Okay, so here's a little piece of amazingness where she's built, I'm gonna say a diorama, but it's, it's really more like a, just like this amazing little scene with all these little cut out, drawn, hand drawn, cut out little people staring up at something wondrous right here, this, and I can't remember, this one's called Reception. And it's got a light in there. It's this whole little little house that, that she's made with opening doors and you can close the doors and, you know, and then here comes the light out of this little, out of this little box in the middle. It's quite amazing. So let's keep on going around. She's got more. These are from the meditation this is sort of the uh, meditation aspect of mindfulness where it's also mindlessness, where you let your mind go and allow things to happen. Um, here's a beauty, the wheel. And this one has a uh, sort of an altar-like worshipfulness to it, which is really, really cool. And then there's a whole bunch of these. I could totally see a yoga studio getting a bunch of these beautiful little meditation pieces, all very, very, very affordably priced. And uh, it's really quite amazing. So then here's another one right here. This one is called The Beguiling, where she's built a little house. She's built this beautiful little house with people coming out of the chimney 
taking a bath. But like, look at these gorgeous little goddesses collecting around this, this little mythical fire that she's got there. It's really, really gorgeous. All right, we're gonna skip around over here. This one right here is called Awaiting. And I have seen this one before, and now, and I think I've talked about it on Living Figuratively, but now I can't remember which show. But um, it is just a cluster of these gorgeous little figurative, figurative people, but like, like droves of them. I mean, this has to have a hundred little drawings in it, a hundred. And they're all different, you know, like, it, Maybe a lazier artist might sort of repeat some of them and maybe change the hair, repeat this one. They're all different. It's really, really, really just beautiful. And then here's some more of these little little houses that are called Trance Walk right here, little goddesses in houses. And, and look, they've got, she built roof shingles. And so then we've got more little goddesses in these little, little natural, earthy, crunchy little houses with, with, roof shingles and, and floral watercolor. Oh, and here's a fun little juxtaposition. We've got a guy going to one of those machines with the claw, getting the teddy bears. And in the opposite universe, we've got the teddy bear going to the machine with the claw to get little guy dolls that are sewed up. Oh, and here's one in the corner that you might miss, but you shouldn't because this one's awesome and awesomely priced. This one's kind of, kind of amazing. Love it, it's called Veil Break. Beautiful little cut paper and balloons. Here's another one that you guys have seen before. This one was at the Ursuline um, New Masters show way back like a year ago. I remember the weather was bad. Um, and uh, this is all about the little guy in the elevator. It's like the same little guy in all these different little, little mini conceptual absurdist scenarios. And the juxt total juxtaposition of mindlessness and mindfulness because the mindlessness is where you're sitting there scrolling on your phone. The mindfulness is, well, maybe his mind is full of crazy, these crazy scenarios. Oh, and then we've got more of these little juxtapositions. I love these juxtapositions. This one is nighty night. Little guy going to bed with his stuffed animals. Little stuffed animal going to bed with his guy dolls. These, I could see these in a baby's nursery. You know, bring them up with real art. And this, this is really cool. It's called caged. It's little people and little chickens. Little people and little chickens caved, caged. And they're all in these little individual cages with the, the strips. And each one of them, they, are, they look very identical, but they are all individually drawn. Like you look at them and think, oh, she just photocopied it and smacked the next one down. She did not. These are all drawn individually. You know, the chickens, they look very similar, but there's differences. And the guys, his facial expressions, similar pose, similar size, different facial expressions. Really, really, really cool. So I'm gonna go around here. Here is another altar-like iconic piece called Horde. And this one has this beautiful swimming bunch of people they're not even swimming, but they're, it's just like this mass of humanity in the background, kind of like a Dante's Inferno type thing. Um, and then here we've got this teeny one called meditative, you know, think, making you think about like the, the witches of, from the days of yore. And by witches, I mean good, good witches, the wise women that got, you know, accused of being witches, but really they were just brought down for being powerful, smart, and doing good things for people that didn't appreciate it. And then here we have the sanctuary, which is also an amazing little house that she's built. And like, look at this roof. Who doesn't want a roof like that in their, you know, 
in their dollhouse that's in their house, not on their real, real roof. But um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys come see this show. It is really, really amazing. Jill Eisert has done a beautiful, beautiful job of it. And I just, I just love it. So um, I'm going to flip back around, but now they've changed all the things and I might screw this up. So I'm not sure where the flipping back around is. Bring them on camera, somebody said. But I, uh, maybe that's Facebook telling me that. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it around. Okay, here I am again. All right. I'm going to bid you all adieu, but definitely come see Mindlessness by um, Jill Eisert at Bay Arts in Bay Village, Ohio, because it's a wonderful show. It'll be here till February 5th, and um, it's well worth the drive, especially on a cold, cold day like this where, you know, you drive in your car, and here you are, and it's warm and cozy in the gallery playing country music in the background, which I couldn't figure out how to turn off. But anyway, come see it, and it's awesome. Thank you for joining me again for Living Figuratively. My fingers are too cold to press the finish button.